Servac. I made a video recently about a new hoverbike build which improves upon the popular hoverbike 2.0 by adding one feature which gave it way more control than before. I dubbed it the mini plane or hoverbike 3.0. I did not expect that video to blow up like it has. Thank you for everyone who's watched it. I have since fixed some technical issues. Anyway, onto this video. Despite briefly explaining how to build the hover plane, some people complained that I didn't explain how to build it. I said at the start of the video I'm going to show you how to build this and later on in the video there is a how to build it section but to be fair I did kind of speed through it and I technically cheated a bit because I didn't actually show how to attach the front two parts together I took the auto build from the hoverbike 2.0 and removed the back fan so I think people want a proper tutorial so here it is oh and I just want to shout out net nycra nycravec sorry if I butchered your name but I just want to shout out my boy who pointed out it's not technically a hoverbike it's an air bike I've said before it's technically a flying bike not a hoverbike it didn't hover. So I've still been calling it the hover bike. It's just what it's called. It doesn't matter. But this guy gets it. I like his style. What you'll need is two fans, a steering stick, and an elevator rail. If you need to know how to get the latter item, watch my very brief video on how to get it. It's linked here in the corner, then come back here. Once you've got the item, you'll be able to summon it anytime using auto build. It actually detaches from an auto build without disappearing. That's a unique feature of the elevator rail. Anyway, you've got your four items ready. Let's get ready for the first step. I mean, I mean technically that's the first step, the first step of actually building it. I like working on my Zonai builds here in this little area just west of Tarrytown, because there's nice flat areas like this platform, and there's also loads of Zonai devices around. I mean you've got two fans and a steering stick right here. Little trick, if you've already built the hoverbike 2.0, just use the auto build to very easily and quickly carry this two fans and steering stick across to this platform. I know that's not like a, a groundbreaking tip or anything but it's just it's a little bit handy. It's a little bit handy. This starts out very similar to the Hoverbike 2.0. Lay the front fan flat on the ground, grab the steering stick and rotate it so it's at 45 degrees and the front end is away from you. And then attach it to the fan. I found that it's best to then put the back fan onto the railing, get the railing straight in front of you, put the second fan behind it, and then pick up the elevator rail, press ZL so you're aligned straight, put the elevator rail down in front of you, and then grab the fan. Bring the fan back and rotate it 45 degrees away from you and attach. I know you might be thinking, how do I line everything perfectly straight? Well, I've just found that trial and error is really the best way. Something I find does help is that if you stretch back just a little bit and look at that line of green goo or whatever it is that holds these builds together, you'll see a little dotted line. You make sure that dotted line is as straight as can be. That's a good guide. The best way to make sure it's in the middle is look at those lines going down the elevator rail. Surprisingly, that middle one actually lines up with the middle. I know it sounds obvious, but the thing is, these lines kind of have little lines coming off of them and it kind of looks uneven. So it's kind of hard to tell if the middle one is actually in the middle, but I've studied this pretty well and I believe it is. And I've had best results from lining up the fans with that center line. But after you've attached it, you can also pick it up and to make sure it's definitely aligned, use the rotation arrows to make sure everything is aligned. I briefly touched on this in my previous video, but I think it's a good tip. And you can do the same thing with the front section. Just make sure that the steering stick and the center circle of that fan is lined up with the red arrow. The fan in this example might be a little little bit off center but it's pretty much straight I think it'll do and again you can see that that red arrow is pretty much lined up with that centerpiece and if you lift and rotate it you can see from the blue arrows that they are lined up from the lines four columns in from the sides of the rail then all that remains is to attach the front part to the back part you want to get the bottom edge of the base of the steering stick right in the center again use that dotted line to make sure it's straight align it with the middle line on the rail and you should be good Bob as they say is your uncle I've actually done that wrong by the way the base of the steering stick is meant to overlap slightly with the rail but that at least gives me an opportunity to share another tip because the annoying thing about this situation is that we have to detach this which means we've got to align the steering stick and front fan up again which might have taken you hours and hours to get right in the first place but I've got a bit of a life hack for that go back to auto build and into your history and find that front section that you in good old blue Peter fashion made earlier but remember to aim away a little bit so that, that purple catch area doesn't tear off the back fan that you've also painstakingly lined up and this means we can try again without having to redo all that work this might be obvious you might have thought this already but I also feel like it's just one of those little things that you might not think of but it is incredibly handy the best way to do this is to grab the front part go behind the back part and pull the front section back towards the rail if you look at the dots not the dotted line but the two large dots they tell you basically which point is going to connect to which point if that makes sense again this is Zonai building 101 but it just might be something that you've never thought about you make sure the dots basically look the way they do on the screen right now and just make sure that they overlap a little bit then the steering stick will attach to the rail correctly and that's the build finished. Again, I would grab the whole thing and use the rotation arrows to make sure everything is lined up, and if so, you're good to go. That rhymed, so you know I'm right. It's a great vehicle, you can see how much better it handles than the other versions of the hoverbike. Check out my other video for more reasons why it's great. 
hope that was a lot more helpful. Hope you now know how to build the mini plane or hoverbike 3.0. Either way, thank you for watching my video. Servalk.